We're testing the Powerball from Corbon Glazer 38 Special Plus P. Test gun is a Smith & Wesson Model 438 with a 1 and 7 8 inch barrel. Test media is SimTest, comparable to ballistic gel, and we have four layers of denim. This is a 100 grain bullet, advertised muzzle velocity of 1,150 feet per second. Obviously uh, much less than that in this short barrel. I'm coming in at 1,070 feet per second, five shot average and very controllable in this lightweight handgun. Now as far as the bullet itself, there is a lead core in there and obviously a copper jacket, but filling that cavity is a polymer ball. In a semi-auto, obviously this is a revolver, but in a semi-auto that is meant to improve or enhance feed reliability so it acts or performs like a full metal jacket from a feed standpoint. Now in any handgun, the uh, characteristic is to have controlled expansion and not allow that hollow point cavity to plug as it's going through fabric and uh, denim and so forth. So in any event, we're going to see uh, how this is going to perform and because of this type of media, we should have an idea of where the ball separates in this process unless it moves forward with the bullet itself. We'll know in just a moment. There's the entry. I pulled that just a little bit. Let me get out the fillet knife and get to work. By the way, I do calibrate each block with an air rifle at around 600 feet per second. I came in on this one at 3.68 as an average out of 5 BBs, and that's in my range of 3.25 to 3.75. That's where I'd like to keep it. Okay, on to the Powerball. It came in here, and you can see in the first inch and a half or so, we have some denim fragments. We get to about the two and a half inch mark and we have a uh, approximately a three inch long cavity that's about three quarters of an inch in height. After this point it's pretty much a narrow path. You can follow the ruler there. We're now all the way out to 12, 13, 14, 15 inches and you can see a couple of things. Obviously the bullet did not expand. The polymer ball is still intact and at some point it turned and landed just like this, uh, base forward. I don't think it happened right here, although it could have. There's also a possibility that it happened way back here in this cavity and this is where it turned and then it moved base forward. I'm trying to grasp the concept that it went that far uh, with the base forward. I think that's a little unusual. I don't know that it had that much momentum but I'm not a scientist, that's just a guess. But the key thing is, it did not expand. Just taking a second look at this a little bit closer, there's room in the uh, cavity for that bullet to make the turn, but if you look closely, that straight line really wasn't disrupted. And I'm just not buying into the fact that when it made the turn, if it made the turn there, it could not have traveled that straight of a path with the base forward. I really think it would have veered off course and gone somewhere else. So. Uh, that's probably more of a natural stretch cavity that we see in this type of media at about that penetration. The turn likely happened when it stopped. Diameter is .351. The bullet is not deformed in any manner. Retained weight is coming in just over 100 grains. Please keep in mind that these tests are just a single representation. I could try it again and it could work. I could try it without the denim and it could work. Or it may not. So I don't know if this is a velocity concern or issue or if the denim caused this not to expand. But thanks again for watching.